Okay, story girl. What I've got here is simply a track that I've recorded. Okay, this is the head of the file. Notice that uh, I left myself uh, about 2.3, or I'm sorry, yeah, close to three seconds of, of room tone. Okay, so I, I recorded this in, in a quiet environment that I could get, and then I left uh, some tail at the end of the file as well. The very first thing we're going to do is render this file because it's in a wave to an MP3. Now, the reason being, and you can see I've got it breathing, B-E-R-E-A-T-H. Sorry about that. Um, like you, I'm on deadlines here, okay? I'm going to put this into stereo. I think you're doing this in stereo. 192 kbps. I'm going to add it back into Reaper. I'm going to render one file, okay? As you can see the directory now, I've just got this going into my Reaper file uh, up on my desktop, okay? Master mix, no tail. Render one file. There it is. I'm going to say close. The only thing I want this file for is so I can open it up in MP3 gain. MP3 gain will not read a WAV file. Okay. So there is the file. We are at 79.5. We want to be at 90. I believe that's the center of the specs that you gave me. So I need to raise this. 10.5 dBs, I believe, if my math is correct. Okay, I'm not sure. But uh, uh, no clip gain, you can see right here, it tells me I got 7.5, which means my audio is going to clip if I raise it that much. But we'll take care of that. That's not the purpose of this video. Okay, so I'm going to raise this 10.5. Uh, 9.5. So I'm going to raise this 9.5. Okay, so we're just going to say exit. We're going to get rid of this track. Delete. Yes. So we're going to come up here to the uh, master track. And we're going to put on our, uh, 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 let me see, volume adjustment. 9.5. I'm going to come down here and do a negative three. This should keep us uh, from clipping on anything. Okay. Uh, normally, like I said, I normally, and I'm just going to do what I normally do, Trish. Normally, I go with 3.5, just to give myself a little bit of headroom. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this FX off, and we're going to listen to this audio. And I apologize, I've got to turn my TV volume down, because if I don't, uh, on my monitor, then it's going to feed back through the mic I'm speaking on right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and just play this, and let's listen to it. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to turn this on, Trish, uh, because I, I, I know I want you to be able to uh, hear what this sounds like raw, other than the volume being adjusted. Look at these meters. Okay, this is a video for Trish. This, we're going to go over some real simple things. We're going to uh, take, we're going to use a high pass filter. We're going to use a noise removal filter. And then we're going to use a gate. Okay, and this is the audio I need for that, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so that's what it sounds like raw. So the very first thing I'm going to do now is come up here and I'm going to trap this. Now, I, this is my way. You, 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 it's not the first plugin I'm going to use, but I want to trap it. Okay, now I'm going to put on the uh, real EQ. There's my AD high pass filter. Okay, I'm going to leave this up for a second. And now I'm going to bring up my uh, reifer. And this is my noise reduction. Okay, now I'm not going to have it build a profile yet because I want to show you something. It, you know, you're asking me uh, about the, the process, and, and this is the process. I'm going to uncheck this box. Watch the frequencies that come through here as I play this. Okay, just on the, the uh, head of the file. You see these frequencies right here? Okay, now I'm going to engage this. Now the, the high pass is engaged. Watch this now. You see, there's a reduction in it. 
okay it just it just helps out the noise reduction plugin by doing that okay so now we're going to build the profile now we're going to uncheck this box okay all these stay checked now everything stays just like i'm leaving it now let's bring up the audio statistics because I, I, I want you to see this, okay? Now, I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to watch our noise floor right here. You see the negative 62.7? But, you know, you got to remember, Trish, I spent a lot of money in my, my track room in order to record it. So w whatever your noise floor is when you record, and this goes for anybody watching this video, that you have to record properly. You need to be in a room that is suited, and especially if you're using a condenser microphone. They are very unforgiving, and they are meant to be used in studios, okay? So now I'm going to turn this back on, okay? Let's watch the noise floor now. You see what it is now? I just removed all of that mud and that noise, even though it's, it's low from this entire file, okay? So now let's go ahead and close these out. Now I've got my, my markers in here, uh, Trish. This is where I'm, I'm breathing, okay? So now I'm going to trap this. All I want is that breath. I don't want anywhere that I'll be speaking. And this is kind of hard for me to do, guys, because I actually cannot hear what I'm doing now. Okay? So now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to bring up our gate. Okay? I want to trap this so I can watch what my gate is telling me. If you watch this meter right here, it'll tell you uh, what's coming through. I'm going to set this back to infin or infinity. Let's watch it. You see where this meter's coming up to? Now I'm going to slowly slide this up and then I'm gonna get it close. Now these sliders are very, very uh, touchy, all right? So once I get it where I think it is, I'm actually gonna come down here and I'm going to type in the number that I want. So let's go ahead and do this until this meter goes to zero. Okay, so you can see now it's trapping everything there. So I'm going to come down here now, and I'm going to try a negative 35. And I'm going to play it again and see if it's trapped all that sound. And it has not, you see? That's just how sensitive these sliders are. So I'm going to say, okay, how about a negative 32? Or, I'm sorry, negative 33. You see this meter jumping? It's gating some of it, but it's not gating all of it. Okay? So I'm going to say, okay, now we'll go with a negative 32. I want to set this as low as I possibly can so it does not chop off the rest of my words if I decide to speak softer. And there we go, okay? So now I've got my gate properly set, okay? So now I'm going to uh, take this off or just close it out. I'm still leaving it on. Now I'm going to slide this above the audio statistics. If I do not, then the audio statistics will not show me what I need to see. So I'm going to turn both FX off and we're going to look at... Uh, well, and see, I apologize. I don't want to confuse you. I'm simply unchecking these boxes because I've got to be able to see. I want the volume adjustment to come through, and I want to see it on the audio statistics. So just watch these numbers. You see the negative 44.9? Let's turn on our first track. Okay, now that gave us up here around the negative 45. 
Let's turn on the gate. You see that number? A negative 317.95. So let's go back to the beginning now, leave everything on, and let's listen to this audio again with the statistics. Okay, this is a video for Trish. This, we're going to go over some real simple things. We're going to uh, take, we're going to use a high pass filter. We're going to use a noise removal filter. And then we're going to use a gate. Okay? And this is the audio I need for that. So that's what I'm going to use. Okay? We got a negative 120.96 noise floor. We have a negative 3.5 on our maximum peak level. And the RMS, we're not going to worry about because this isn't for the ACX. Uh, you're using the DB. So what we're going to do now is we don't need this anymore. We do, however, need every single other plugin. So I'm simply, I can take this off. I can bypass it. I can delete it. It just deletes it from the chain. Uh, I'm simply going to bypass it. You see how it gets grayed out? So now we're going to render this from a WAV file into an mp3 stereo okay so stereo uh, 192 mp3 uh, add rendered item uh, back to the project render one file and we're going to say cancel and i apologize for that breathing mastered okay you would name it whatever chapter you're on trish and we're going to hit close at this point, I'm not, I don't need that file anymore. It's still the original. I've simply deleted it from the project. I have not deleted it from the master folder, okay, from the master folder. So now we come up here. We right mouse click it. We're going to open it back up in MP3 gain. We're going to analyze the track. 88.7, uh, maximum gain, 3. And, and this is why you need to do this. Okay, so this is technically real close to 89, but I'm still within the parameters. I'm within the parameters that you gave me, okay? But that is how you take the noise out of your file. All right, take care, God bless, and we are out of here.